Hey, welcome to Davida's Stamp and Spot. I'm only a couple minutes late. I have to admit, I started playing and I lost track of time. I'm sure that never happens to any of you. I was messing with the technique that I'm going to show you um, because it's uh, been a couple months since I uh, used this technique. I wanted to make sure I was right and then I didn't quit playing. So I'm checking very quickly to see if I'm on. Hopefully I am. It says I am. Hope you guys are having a great week. I think most of you know already, but Kent and I went to the Smoky Mountains and spent, um, well, I guess, what, five or six days in the mountains, which uh, normally you guys know me, usually the beach is where we head, but uh, Kent convinced me that seeing the fall leaves in uh, Tennessee and North Carolina would be worth the trip, and he was right. It was. If you're on Facebook, you might have seen, seen my post today. Uh, we actually got to see two bear cubs uh, arguing or fighting with each other or playing, really. Um, some beautiful scenery and um, went on some nature hikes. It was really a good time. Didn't want to post that stuff while I was gone because no one was here at the house, but I wanted to share it as soon as we got back. I'm going to switch the camera around here so we can start playing today. Get the camera out of the way. We um, get to go over and help with the boys tonight. Colin's um, on a site visit for his job. And Danae said, any chance you guys could come help with the boys and just give me a, an excuse to go see those guys. So we're headed over there. It's kind of interesting. We'll see how the light does, which actually light outside might be better. Hopefully it will be better. So this technique, uh, Dana shared with us at a team meeting. Oh goodness, a couple months ago, I think, maybe longer than that. Light's going to give me grief again. Um, and I've been meaning to share it with you and just haven't uh, chosen the time to do it. So today's the day. <coughs> so I'm actually going to show you the technique and we're going to design first and then I'll show you the card. So this is a piece of our watercolor paper. It's three and a fourth by five and a half. And we are going to add color to it. And I called it the squishy ink technique because honestly, I can't remember what Dana, uh, Dana called it when she shared it with us. So this is our clear block E <laughs> to give you size. And for some reason, my voice is just <laughs> really being stubborn today. Um, hang on just a second. Gonna have Kent get me a cough drop and see if that helps. Had to use one at school today too. All right, so we are going to start with a window sheet. This is just some plastic. Uh, she put this tab on it because a window sheet is clear. We kept losing it <coughs> on the table when we were working. So you don't have to have that, but it helps. <laughs> My goodness, I haven't coughed like that all day. So we're going to start. <coughs> With some gorgeous grape, I'm just going to put it here on the end. You don't need a whole lot. Probably about a third of the block is enough. And then I'm going to squirt it with some water. Notice I'm getting spray all over here. I won't show you, but unfortunately, I've gotten ink on my brand new shirt today. That I am not happy about. So I'm going to take the uh, clear window sheet and I'm just going to squish it on this ink that we've added water to and see how it's just kind of making it all squishy and watery like that and if you get more than you want just kind of spread it on out on the block and then I'm going to take this watercolor paper and I'm going to rub it I kind of got too far already I just kind of want it on the edge kind of dividing this strip into <clears throat> fifths. So you see, I just kind of squish it. If you get more than you 
one on there, you can take the extra side of the window sheet. And then I've got my handy dandy wipes here. And I'm gonna wipe the purple off. You could take this to the sink and wash it off or just use a dry rag. We were at the library, so we used uh, dry rags and boy, did we get a lot of ink on those things. All right, so we've got our purple. Now you notice how I kind of got X, I missed some right down in here. Um, bring me my sub bag. <clears throat> Thank you. Saw a funny thing on uh, Facebook last night. Uh, it said, my wife started a jar. Every time she has to find something that we can't find, we have to put $5 in it. We're going to Disney World this month. So apparently, um, not, all, well, I should say, we all have that challenge of the wife seeming to know where things are and, and the rest of the family doesn't. All right, we'll see if the cop graph helps. Okay, so we're gonna wipe this off because I don't wanna mix my colors on my block, but we are going to mix it on the watercolor paper. All right, <clears throat> so the next color we're going to use is green. And I chose granny apple green. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just gonna put ink on the side here like that. Spritz it with water. So it gets nice and squishy. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna squish that ink onto my window sheet. I'm gonna bring my paper back over and I'm going to squish. I have to tell you the one I did earlier looked much better than this one. Isn't that how it always goes? All right, so see how it's not squishing here very good. I'm gonna go back and get some more ink. You could do this monochromatic where you just use like different greens or different blues. You can also spritz it after you get it on there. If you need to mix it a little bit more, I'm gonna kind of cheat and smoosh at that purple got way out of control. All right, lay that to the side, wipe this off. I think doing, I really like it when you do the blues. So go from the balmy blue and the blues on down uh, to your deeper blue, like your Knight of the Navy. <clears throat> I think that would make a really pretty card as well. All right, I bet you can guess what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go to another color. We're gonna actually repeat this five times. This time we're gonna go with yellow. The one I was playing with right before I went live, I did the inks in a different color. So I'll be curious to see which way you like the colors on the watercolor paper. So again, you just squish it. And I have to admit, I did a lot better when Dana was showing me how to do this. So maybe I've forgotten a step, which is quite possible. You could also add more water to your watercolor or your window sheet as you're going. But it's just kind of fun. It's just like a different type of paintbrush that you're using. And it was just fun to, it's just fun to squiggle this. I put in the description that this is kind of addictive. You start playing and you just keep squishing and moving stuff around. I mean, it's fun to use our blending brushes or the, the blender pen, but sometimes it's just fun to use something a little bit different. You do have to be careful. So you'll notice on this one, when I spritzed my white, or my white, when I spritzed the yellow, it got a little bit on there. So you need to remember to move this off to the side while you're getting your block ready. <clears throat> All right. So now we're going to go with Flirty Flamingo. I guess I didn't tell you the last one was Daffodil Delight. Most of them are brights, except for the Gorgeous Grape, because, you know, we moved it out of the Gorgeous Grape. We moved the Gorgeous Grape out of the brights when we redid the color families here in the last couple of years. All right, so now we're going to go with this 
flirty flamingo. And I didn't put enough. So um, I put in the email. I am now going to try to make up for being gone the first two weekends of October. So this Wednesday and Friday, I will be teaching the technique and fun fold class here at the house. Um, Wednesday will be at four o'clock and Friday will be four o'clock and seven o'clock. If you're interested in the class and you don't live locally, we can do a long distance class. All you need to do is let me know that you want to do that. And I will send you the card kits and then we can make them together. Or if you're uncomfortable using Zoom, which it seems some people are, we can just do a private Facebook party where I show you how to do everything and then you can make the cards. So let me know if you're interested in that. And then on Saturday, is my Christmas class. Christmas cards were highlighting the one horse open sleigh designer series paper. We, I am highlighting it. And some of the classic matte dots. Um, included in the fee is the um, package of the one horse open sleigh paper, as well as some of the dots. So you'll use some of the paper in your class and then you'll get to take the rest of it home. So you'll have paper to make a lot more of the card designs that I show, which is nice because so often you come and I show you how to make stuff and then you don't have the supplies, but you will have them for this one. Now, there we go. The fifth one worked the best. Look how that covered up so nice. All right. So there we go. Doesn't that look cool? kind of a rainbow. All right, I'm going to clean off my piece here before I make another mess. So I'm calling it the squishy technique. And notice I got more ink and water on here, and I think that really helped. So you could use, you just need to make sure that your window sheet is as large or larger, probably larger is better than your watercolor paper that you're using. All right. <clears throat> now, when we made these, we used Dana's um, gorgeously, gorgeously made, I believe is the name of it. And I borrowed her stamp set for quite a while, never got to show this to you and returned that. So the rest of the pieces, I can't show you the stamp set and the dies, but you can see them in the catalog. And I will show them to you here real quick. It is gorgeously made. It's on page 103. I figured if I hung on to her stuff, I still wouldn't get this shown. So I sent it back. So this is the stamp set here. And then I'm going to use the die here. I, these pieces were cut out for us. So Charity gave that to me. Um, so that's the uh, idea that she used. Let me show you the other pieces. So there's the base is Knight of Navy. It's five and a half by eight and a half. Here is a tip for you if you like to be frugal like I am. This piece is three and a half by five and a half and it's the gorgeous grape. The ladies are so good. They use purple so often whenever we do our make and takes because they know I love purple. And then she was frugal. She cut these pieces out of the bottom layer because we're going to cut them out. We're going to cut them out and then we're going to cover it up. So that didn't sound right. Sorry, guys. Cut them out and then we're going to cover it up so you're not wasting paper. So what she did is she cut those pieces out and then gave us this layer because my watercolor paper is going to go right over the top of that. No one's ever going to know that those pieces were cut out. So that's just a, a tip for you on saving on your paper. So let me show you the one I did earlier. So this one, I went from dark to light. And this one, we went from the darks into the light. So in the comments, tell me which one do you like better? Do you like it better going from the dark to the light or going with the light in the middle? So give me a comment. I don't know how many are watching. So we'll see if any of you will comment for me. 
which way you like it better. I know I threw things off by going at four o'clock today, but um, I didn't want to miss another week since I missed last week. While I'm waiting to see if anybody votes, I'm going to show you some of the projects coming up. So here is the card. This is our bendy fold card for the technique class this week. It's called the double bend. We're going to make that one. This is our simple card. And this one is the gift card holder. Looks like the card slid out, but the gift card goes right in that spot. Have these laying on the floor and I bet it slid out and see. I'll use one of my, but see the gift card will slide just in like that. And then, so those are the three for the Technique Unfold. And then the Christmas class, these are the projects that I'm highlighting. These stockings. This one will look familiar. That's on my Facebook page. And that's the book fold. It opens so this part's closed up. That one sheet or one horse open sleigh paper is so beautiful. So there's three pieces of that. This one here opens like that. This one here opens like this. This there's two of them here. They're similar. This one I kept all three layers of the paper. This one I left the middle one out. And then there's this one. So you'll get to make six cards at the class. You get to pick which six you want. And again, you'll get a package of the designer series paper and the matte dots. Oh, Sue, you're not helping me. You like both, huh? All right, well, we're gonna go, which one do I like better? I think we'll go with the one you guys watched me make because I think it actually turned out a little bit better. All right, then what she did is she also cut out some of those leaves in vellum like this, all right? I'm gonna grab my adhesive here and my little sticky note for the size does not need to be on the card now. Um, when you do use the watercolor paper, make sure you give it a lot of time to dry. I'm kind of rushing it here um, for the video, but it's going to need more time to dry because it's absorbed all that liquid. <clears throat> all right. And then we're going to put it on here. I'm using our stamp and seal today. Isn't that pretty? Look how that line look, just highlights, is highlighted on that paper. And I was actually looking for a stamp set as I was, and that's why I was late. And then I did not find it. So I'm not gonna be able to finish this card, but I'll show you the card I made at our team meeting. If you are, if you've ever thought about joining my team, I think this month is probably the best deal that they've ever given. You can either take 35% off the price, which is normally $99, which I think it's 64 something, and you get $125 worth of stuff for 64, and we'll say 65, it's 60, I think I want to say 64 and 75, or you can add 35% to your kit. So you actually get, I think it's 155, I'm trying to remember. Um, I'm going to do the math real quick. I was going to look this up. And when I got home from school, I forgot to do it. One sixty-eight seventy-five. So you get one hundred and sixty-eight dollars and seventy-five cents worth of stuff for ninety-nine dollars. So it's an amazing deal. All right. So here is. Oh, I left the white off. No wonder that looked funny. All right. Well, here we go. This is the one I made at our team meeting, and then she had the stamps there. <laughs> so I added that inside. But here's this one. My goodness, 
I sound like I'm sick and I have not sounded like this all day. How silly. All right. So I'll finish this one up and post a picture, but I'd love to see what you do with the squishy wa uh, watercolor technique. <coughs> I'm going to quit before I start coughing again. If you have any questions, reach out. If you can attend class this week, please let me know. Have a great week and I'll see you next Monday.